years of design, hard work and inspiration, world-renowned artist Dylan Lewis opened the Dylan Lewis Sculpture Garden in Stellenbosch. There are over 60 sculptures that are made of bronze dotted around the park. It really is a case of you have to see it to believe it. The art and the garden are truly magnificent. The, the primary focus, I guess, of the garden is it's an opportunity for me to show my sculpture in the context in which it was imagined. So my primary influence as a sculptor is nature, uh, particularly wild nature, uh, which to me is represented by this encircling mountain range. Um, and that tension is expressed within the garden itself. So if you, if you move through the garden, you'll see certain areas which are very manicured, sculpted and controlled, and then others which are very wild. And similarly with the sculpture, much of my sculpture, especially the most recent work, explores that particular tension within the human psyche. One of the primary design aspects within the garden is, is how the garden responds to its surrounding environment. So every sculpture, every shape within the garden is an echo of or a response to or a contrast to what is happening beyond it. Each sculpture represents something that I was interested in engaged with at the time, and they also represent a process. You know, I needed to create the one to get to the other and so on and so forth. The inspiration, I guess, is dual. So part of it is um, my experience in wild natural places. So I've spent a lot of time through my life and continue to spend time in, in wilderness areas. Um, there's something about those places that allow me to connect with something deeply important uh, at a psychological level. Um, which may have to do with memory, genetic memory, in that, that those are the places that we have come from as humans. And as modern humans living in urban environments, we've largely been separated and alienated from that, those original wild spaces. A source of inspiration is my experience of the of my own psychological journey. So what it feels like to be human, uh, to me, the complexities of the human experience, the tensions, the agonies, the ecstasies of that experience, and most particularly the tension of the idea of an authentic life. Art, to me, is a mirror in the sense that whatever the experiences of an individual walking through this garden is, it's saying something about them, not about me. So it's more just about being in the garden and perhaps being present as to what it might be telling us as an individual or showing back or mirroring in that sense. It is hard to explain how these magnificent pieces of art fit against the beautiful backdrop of nature. If you're ever in the Stellenbosch area, you should definitely come look for yourself.